Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Crazy Coder. Today we will create a binary search algorithm using Python. So let's start. I'm creating a new Python file. Let's name it bsa.py binary search algorithm. So first of all, let's define a function named binary uh, search search. Uh, it will take two arguments. So let's pass the arguments a list array list and that is item search item so now for timing let's keep it empty let's create a main uh, let's define let's call the function for that we will use this method uh, i've already explained it in my previous videos so please do check that so in short it actually checks that is there are two ways to execute this program one to run the file and one to import it so when you run the file uh, entire thing executes but when you import the file the code in this if statement does not execute so that's the main advantage when you write the function based program so let's call our binary function binary search function so we'll take two parameters so let's uh, pass a list so let's give it randomly like two three seven eight nine zero no not zero uh, so for binary search algorithm to work, we need a sorted array. So let's pass sorted array. So 50 less uh, 57 less 79 and 550. Okay, these are the elements we're processing. And let's uh, let's seven be the number we will search. So yeah, we have called the number. Sorry, we have called the function. Let's define a function. So first, uh, let's write a comment that is a list with a sorted add slash list and uh, item. Bar that it is supposed right? suppose to be searched okay that's cool now the first thing uh, in the binary cellular algorithm is to define the first index and the last index so let's first zero first is always zero in the initial term and last is always length minus one which is a list uh, length a list minus one so if we if you don't know binary search algorithm please do check out uh, the video which i made on binary search algorithm i've explained the binary search algorithm thoroughly in it so we are implementing it basically so first we have stored the first index and last index of the array now let's check so let's create a while loop the condition first is less than equal to last so that's the condition of binary algorithm so basically if first is not less than last if first is greater than last that means there are no element to be searched and uh, this condition only occurs at the first only appears to be greater than last when the element we are searching is not in the list so that's how it works now first thing we have to do is we have to calculate the mid element mid index for that we use formula first plus last in bracket uh, divide by two and it has to be int so let's convert in int that's cool now let's check if mm, a list may uh, is equal to equal to our number that is item if yes uh, print uh, let's use formatting the item the item is found at mid so what this does is it, uh, it prints uh, values of the variable that is for example the uh, 7 is found at for example 3 so that how it prints the formatting is very good thing 
So now if else if elif if uh, a list dot made is not equal, then we check a list is greater is a list greater than mid because if a list is greater than mid then we have to reduce the first thing right uh, so if a list is uh, greater than mid a list means our element we are the element we are searching is a list mid okay that's how it works a list mid is greater than item if a list mid is greater than item then we have to decrease the last number okay so last mid minus one so lf a list uh, mid that is middle element is less than item then we have to decrease we have to choose the second half which is possible with this we increase the first just greater than one so the la if it's smaller then it has to go left so made minus one the last will be made minus one so if it's uh, smaller if, uh, last one is smaller then we have to go to left for that we have to increment the first index greater than mid so now uh, now if if the element is not in this for example if this doesn't exhibit so if uh, this if this is not true, uh, no matter what the iteration, until this condition, so that means element is not in this. So if we use a while else statement, which will print, what will print? It will print the item is not found. It will print the value of the item. That's great. That's what we want to want. Let's implement a code. Let's check for the bugs. Running the code on the terminal. So okay, there is an error. It should, it is not equal. It is equal to equal to. That's an error. It checks. That's uh, equality operator. We are not assigning it. That's great. One more. So the point is. Okay. So yeah, the our program has uh, placed it, it, itself into infinite loop. Because uh, we are searching again and again even after we found the number. So for that, uh, if we found the number break, that's the statement we have to use. Now let's run. Yeah, the 7 is at 2, which is true, right? The 7 is at second index. Now let's uh, uh, enter 4. And now let's run the term. The 4 is not found, yes. So our code is running perfectly. Uh, so in simple words, we just created a binary search function with two parameters that is a list and item. A list is a sorted array and item is a number that is supposed to be searched. First thing we did is to set the first and last index and we check if first is less than equal to last because that is the condition for binary search and we calculated middle and we calculated the middle. So, and yeah, that's the principle of to calculate the middle and check. So if it's not, then either it has to be smaller, either, either you have to go to left half, either you go to right half. But if the element is not in this, then you have to use the else statement to print that element is not found, the item is not found, and that's the end of the program. Thank you for watching this video. We will catch you up in the next one.